Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and I am an educator at the Milwaukee Public Museum. When we hear the word mummy or mummification, we often think of ancient Egypt. But what about when we hear the word apple? Do we think of ancient Egypt then? Well, in ancient Egypt, apples were said to have been cultivated at the Nile Delta residence of Ramses II and apples were presented as offerings to the Nile god Hapi. The Egyptian climate, however, does not favor good quality apples, since nighttime temperatures do not drop sufficiently enough to convert the sugars produced in the daytime into starches. So although the apples looked nice, they weren't so great for eating. So what would happen if we were to combine mummification and apples? Well, that is exactly what I am going to do. Over the next seven days, I will record my observations of an apple that will hopefully turn into a mummy. That is, I will attempt to preserve the flesh of this apple while also removing the water content from it. The materials you will need are one half cup of baking soda, one half cup of salt, a small apple that I will keep whole and unpeeled, a plastic bag, a plate, and a lot of time. Okay, so now for the directions. Pour the baking soda and the salt into the plastic bag. Next, place the apple into the plastic bag, making sure that the apple is completely covered with the baking soda and salt mixture. Place the bag on the plate and make sure that the bag remains open. Now this mixture of baking soda and salt that is surrounding the apple is similar to the naturally occurring natron salt that the ancient Egyptians used in their mummification process. So fingers crossed, this works just as well. Okay, so this is what the apple looks like on day one. I will be back tomorrow to share an update with you. This is day four of the apple mummy. I took it out from the natron just to kind of show you. It's getting a little bit softer, squishier, and on the bottom, it's getting a little black too, maybe from decay. This is day five of the apple mummification. You can't really tell just by looking at it but the flesh of the apple has gotten a lot softer. We have reached day seven of the mummified apple. At this point, I can tell that the apple is getting softer and there are signs of decay, especially on the bottom of the apple. I also noticed that the baking soda and salt mixture became clumpy because it had absorbed some moisture. So I went ahead and created a new batch of Natron, mixing up one half cup of baking soda and one half cup of salt. It looks like the apple will take way more than seven days to mummify, and I think that is to be expected if you try to do this activity on your own. I will continue to check this apple daily and also replace the natron about once per week, depending on how saturated it looks. Once the apple is completely mummified, an update will be shared on one or more of NPM's social media pages. So keep an eye open for that on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Hopefully this video gives you a sense of what to expect if you try the mummified apple activity on your own. If you do try it, we would love to see what your results are. 
share with NPM on social media, or send a picture to communications at npm.edu. Thanks for watching.